Welcome to the Top 10 Garden Show with Ken Lane. Listen to Ken's tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts guaranteed to make your gardens more beautiful than ever this year. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. And we are back with The Mountain Gardener, your host, Ken Lane. We're here every week talking about gardening, but part of the beauty of having a studio right here at the Garden Center is when you get your garden experts, the the, the salespeople that come to, that, that sell us our products here, they're doing product training to our staff so that we can go impart that knowledge to our gardeners. And so that knowledge floats from you, your head through us to the, uh, to the, uh, um, to the public local gardeners. And so Andy Dannenberger, he is with Fertilome or VPG volunteer purchase group. Which one is it? Fertilome or VPG or which one's the master company? I never know. Yeah. Well, the, so, the name of the company is VPG or voluntary purchasing group. But, yeah. Uh, people don't know us by that. They know us by Fertilome or, or high, high yield. yield or natural and, guard or natural guard. Yeah. Well, natural guard is kind of uh, on high its yield. way out and oh. we have a Fertilome green line. Gotcha. And so there's um, some, some backstories on the reasons why we made that change, but they've yeah. all been very, very positive. So. so Andy comes to train us on all of our, if, if you're going to make a plant grow or protect it from bugs or, or mildew and stuff, Andy's our guy. He trains us on, no, you want to use this product for powdery mildew and black spot for this. And this bug is going to go, he get make sure we have all the details. So when we put that bug you bring into the garden center, put it under microscope and go, oh my God. This is serious. It's white fly. It's the size of King Kong. When you blow it up 200 times on a big screen TV, we've got those technologies. We can go, here, here's what you need. This will take out. This will solve all of your problems or all of your plants' problems. Andy's the guy that makes us so smart. So how, tell us about yourself. Where do you live? How long you been in the industry? Just you, you can share anything sure. you want. So sure. yeah, no, I've been in the lawn and garden business for uh, 40 years, almost 40, 40 years. I started wow. when I was, but if, you're a young man. That's not, I started when 40 I was years. 15 and a half years old wow. working in a retail nursery. And, um, I, you know, from there, put myself through college, um, in horticulture, um, You've got a HORT degree? I have a HORT degree. Really? And six certificates in HORT. I have a degree in business development as well and yeah. entrepreneurship. And um, so, I, yeah, it's been a long time. I worked everywhere from an independent nursery garden center to, to a sales rep on, in, on the distribution side, sales rep on the manufacturer side, obviously now. And so um, all different kinds of things, but yeah, yeah. almost 40 years. 40, that's enough. amazing. It's the only industry I know. It's the only one you I've know, ever done. I, I've, I do a lot of interviews with different professionals in, in our industry. They they come in and go, hey, could, Eric, could you give, give me just a minute? Give me 10 minutes. People will be interested in that. So I interview them and that's a theme. Decades in the business. Yeah. Seems like we get in and then we retire from it. That's just the way it is. Yeah. We might, yeah. we don't even jump around from companies very much. We stick with them until they merge or something happens. But we stay in this bit. 32 yeah. years I've been doing this. Exactly. I mean, uh, there was a five year period that I went to go work for the San Diego Zoo. So oh. I was a senior horticulturist at the San Diego Zoo. Um, pretty much you know, related, but my, uh, I worked there for about five years and then, um, my heart always has been in the lawn and garden business. Really? So I got back into the corporate world and found a uh, fertile home. And that's where I've been now for 10 years. And I absolutely love it because I believe in independent nurseries and yeah. garden centers. Yeah. I really, really do. So now independence farmers, we're big into co-ops. And so we like getting together because yeah. we can't find the representation that we need. So we just go in together and we form these companies called co-ops and Volunteer Purchasing Group is a co-op. We're mm -hmm. one of the owners yep. with several other garden centers. And so you help us manufacture the right way, get it all labeled, uh, uh, legal, legal, all that other stuff we got to do that we can do. We hire you all and you just come in and you help put this whole thing together. But explain what VPG is just for the audience, maybe what a co-op and how that whole thing works. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're a, we're a company based in Texas, northern Texas, just north of Dallas. And you're right. We are uh, operate like a co-op. We're actually a Texas C Corp is what they call it okay. there. You know, Texas, they have a name for something sure. completely different than what we all <laughs> want to identify it as. But anyways... Uh, but yeah, we're a, we're a very special company. Um, we only uh, sell to independent nurseries and garden centers. So we offer protection. You'll never find any of our brands in a, in a mass merchant or a um, publicly traded chain store. Um, the other part, like you said, we, we are a patron-owned company. So all of our distributors and independent nurseries that we do business with across the country 
are all patron owners of VPG. Um, and, and it was started that way 56 years ago because of that insult. You have one of those customers that comes in and wants to buy something and you sell that something to that person. What do they do? They take a picture of it. They look at the price and what do they do? Put it back on the shelf and then go down the street to try to find it somewhere cheaper Save somewhere, 50 cents else. On it yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. And it's like, no, no, no. We stopped that and allowed our independents to sell it there. And that's the first and final spot stop because you guys are the experts. Yeah. You know, we want the people to go to the experts to find out what there's, you know, a solution to what the problem is in the garden. Yeah. We're not just, you don't just have great products. I mean, the latest science is coming out of Fertilome, uh, but then you back it up by training us. So we, we, we sell it correctly for the right purpose. Because these are toxins. I mean, so they kill bugs. You want to make sure you use those right. Uh, even if they're, botan they're uh, biological or, 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 or so completely organic, you still want to use them correctly. And so there's some training to it. And you Ab make sure we're smart with that. Absolutely. You know, there's 16 of us all over the country. And I cover the Southwest. And it's all about education. Education is so important out there because you we want to train your employees so that they get the right information to the consumers out there. That's the most uh, and more and most important thing because is, you know, all of the products that we have, you know, we have 350 SKUs that we manufacture. Oh my gosh, really? You know, all the way from synthetics to yeah. organics to pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides, all of those things and everything in between. And, um, and it, the education part of it, sometimes you'll have insects on your plant or a really bad disease. Sometimes a, a, an organic product might not you know, take it. You might have to do something a little bit stronger. Yeah. And um, so it's all about education, timing, when to use it, how to use it, reading the labels, yeah. you know, all those important things to make sure you're successful in your yard. So you live in Temecula or I live in right? Marietta, Southern, Marietta, got Southern it. California. Okay, gotcha. And that is uh, in between San Diego and Los Angeles, but okay. inland. Yeah. And I'm about 1,500 feet. But yeah, it's really close to Temecula and the wine, wine country. Wine country. There yes, you go. Southern Napa, which some of the yeah. French Valley people call it. But um, there's about 38 wineries out there. And so, Lynn, I invite you to come out and, you know, that we'll do some fun. wine tasting. Yeah, that sounds fun. So, yeah, that's where I live. Um, married, have three kids. We're involved in scouting and my daughter's 17 learning how to drive oh right my at the gosh moment. pressure and dad 16 almost 17 but yeah, yeah. Was, we got a we got a lot of going on so yeah so tell us something intimate if you only had one plant you could put in your backyard only one what would that be one plant I have always it's been... gotta be bug free, I guess. Or well, I don't you don't want to spray about... any of your stuff on it. I want some easy about... to care for. Yeah, no, I don't know whatever. about bug free, but I'm always been a person about roses. I don't really? know what it is. Okay. I, I Classic. love roses. I have roses in containers, I have roses in pots, yeah. I have climbing roses along my back fence. Nice, beautiful. And um you know, it's, you know, some of them are not disease resistant. Some of them are not insect resistant right, because yeah. there are roses out there that you can, you know, I even have shrub roses too, yeah. which are really super easy to grow. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I'm fascinated with roses because I just like all the different colors. I like to cut them. I like to, you know, smell them, grow them yeah. smell them, you know, bring them in the house, have them in vases for my wife or whatever. Yeah. So i am always been a big, huge rose guy, you yeah. know, and and uh, roses have, have kind of taken a beating over the years. People don't like to grow them, but but there's a they're lot. coming back. There's some good companies out there and they make yeah. some great disease resistant. Roses there's some new there. varieties coming out that are easier to grow than ever Absolutely. so well i've roses I've, i'd probably be there with you too because there's no other shrub that blooms that long continually april through october just nothing else does that yeah there's some that do you know butterfly bush and smoke bush and uh, rosa sharon's in the yeah. summer they do that but they don't do it in the spring yeah. but some of the some of the spring things lilacs for do it in the spring but they do it in the summer roses do it Mm -hmm. especially, stop. especially shrub roses and carpet roses they'll bloom two or yeah. three times or sometimes continuously all yeah. year so they're great plants andy dannenberger with fertilome volunteer purchase group vpg 
Uh, he's there, Western. You basically control the West. I you do, said I Southwest, do. but you're just yeah, you're the I whole Western I country. I physically do Southwest. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am the senior sales manager for Western United States. I got uh, seven or six, six or seven people that I'm responsible for yeah. administratively. But uh, yeah, I do Co cover Southern California, Arizona. In Las Vegas. Wow. And Hawaii. And I'm Hawaii, so jealous. Next time indeed, you're going to make trips, indeed. I'll go with you. Yeah, we're working on some good <sighs> dealers in Hawaii. So that's going to Appreciate you being here and making my staff. Really, I appreciate you making my staff so well. Thanks you're for taking welcome. a moment and, and help sharing some insider tips with, with my listeners. But uh, we'll be right back with more right after this. Don't go anywhere. Look, if your mom, wife, or mother-to-be enjoys dead cut flowers and the peace that comes when dining with all those kids, then by all means, take her to your favorite buffet rather than some piece of plastic. But if she really loves her garden, a gift card from Waters makes perfect sense. In reality, you're giving her 90 minutes of peace and quiet while she shops for her own flowers. Waters Garden Center, 1815 Iron Springs Road in Prescott, the place where people who love their gardening moms love to shop. You're listening to garden expert, Ken Lane. He can be found throughout the week at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Thanks for tuning in to the Top 10 Garden Show. 